Two men calling themselves God continue to occupy a building previously used to help Chattanooga's homeless. Good evening, I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Josh Rowe. Mercy Junction says the men are blocking services to people who need them the most. Hannah Lawrence joins us now to explain what happened today in this case. Hannah. Latricia and Josh, when Mercy Junction tried to kick these men out of their building last month, they said that they planned to fight an eviction in court. Today, they blew off their chance to be heard in front of a judge and now the saga continues. Megan Koch is an artist, but she hasn't been able to create for the past few weeks. Her studio sits in the building two men claiming to be God refuse to leave. Then I've always kind of had my art space there and this process has kind of prevented me from working because of all of the threatening messages and just behavior. Mercy Junction says Ryan Holmes and Tyler Short are posting threatening things about demons and cults on social media, preventing other tenants from using their space. Just talking about being God and just just bizarre, you know, behavior. The organization says those actions are breaking a clause in their lease. I think at least on his part, you know, it was definitely an act. The two men called themselves founders of the Church of Earth. When we interviewed them a couple weeks ago, Holmes told us he doesn't believe their posts are violating the lease and they plan to fight the eviction in court. However, today they didn't show up for their hearing. Holmes, whose name is on the lease, didn't answer the door. But in a Facebook message says he doesn't believe he could be evicted. Joan Flores says the most heartbreaking part of the shutdown, turning away hungry kids as young as six years old, asking why they can't get in the building where they normally come for a snack. There were uh, people coming every day to the free store at Mercy Junction. Flores's husband is representing Mercy Junction in court. He says it will take another court date for the organization to regain possession of the space. Then they can have the sheriff's department forcefully remove the Church of Earth. This afternoon, Holmes said in his Facebook message that no one has stepped forward to issue legitimate court action and that the court acts under a false pretense. Flores says the men have done damage to the building in the time that it's been closed. We'll show you pictures of it at 6. Josh. Hannah, thank you. Flores says Mercy Junction did not ask the Church of Earth to repay them for any damages. They just want the two men.